Hello, my name is Christian from Dust Audio and today I would like to present to you our new software called MIDI LFO. Um, MIDI LFO is our entry for the 2009 KVR Developers Challenge and in this short video I would like to give you an overview over the software and uh, show you how to use it um, together with Ableton Live. So. Uh, software is uh, LFO, it's a low frequency oscillator that you can use um, to, to modulate any kind of MIDI target. So it's a very um, generic uh, software, you can use it with all sorts of hardware and software that, that is able to receive MIDI. Okay, it has three sections, the LFO section, um, a MIDI out section where to send the MIDI messages to, and the sync section, uh, you can sync this up to a software or hardware sequencer um, over MIDI as well. And here you set this up. So the LFO section is pretty straightforward. You can choose the waveform for the oscillator uh, out of these uh, four waveforms. And uh, you can adjust the parameters of the waveform. So the frequency, the depth, which is basically the amplitude of the waveform, and the center value, which determines around which value the um, waveform will oscillate. With this small button you can just hide and show uh, all the setup parameters. So um, the MIDI out section, uh, this is a, a general on off button so when it's off the, the software basically does nothing. We have to turn it on, we'll do that later. And you can choose the MIDI output uh, where we'll send uh, MIDI to and then the channel and the CC number with it which is um, the control change, it's a kind of MIDI message that you have to map to your parameter. And here's the sync section, you can choose if you want to receive, if you want to generate your sync signal internally, then you can uh, use this dial to adjust the frequency, or you can receive MIDI sync messages from an external software, then this switches to a divider, uh, which can modify the incoming MIDI, the incoming MIDI time. And here you choose where you want to receive your, your MIDI sync uh, from. Okay, so let me quickly demonstrate um, this to you together with Ableton Live. Here we see Ableton Live. First, uh, let's have a look at the, um, at the preferences to show you how, how it is set up. So it, Ableton Live receives remote input uh, from its uh, IAC bus 1, so we have to send to IAC bus 1 and Ableton Live generates a sync output on uh, IAC bus 2 so we can receive in our software the sync on IAC bus 2. Great, now that's set up, but let's first start an internal sync and we'll switch to external later. Um, so now the only thing left to do in Ableton Live is to map the output of our MIDI LFO to the, um, to the controller or to, to the parameter that you want to control. So with uh, command M on Apple I go into MIDI mapping mode and let me find this track. Okay, I want to modulate this volume so I select it. And then if I click on here, the first message is being sent to Ableton Live. And so now I control this volume uh, slider with our MIDI LFO. With Command M, I leave MIDI. Okay, first click this. With Command M, I can leave the MIDI assignment mode again. And then you already see um, how this value is modulated by our LFO. So with the rate, I can determine how quickly it's being modulated. With the depth I, I determine how far up and down uh, the slider goes and with the center value I can move this along the axis downwards until it's truncated at the bottom and upwards until it's truncated at the top. Okay so to go in a bit deeper we can have a look here at the arrangement view of Ableton Live and we can record uh, the arrangement and we see here it's a MIDI, 
it's a sine wave coming in on this MIDI controller. It's the mixer track volume. So let me adjust the rate. You see how the rate goes up with the sine volume and the depth. So it gets bigger. And the center value moves the whole sine wave up and down. Okay, so if you want to have it in sync to your sequencer software, we can switch the sync to external. And then we have the divider here. And now uh, Ableton Live actually determines the frequency of this um, of the sine wave. Okay, I'll just reset all these these parameters so we can uh, better see what I'm talking about. Uh, so this always stays the same now, and it's synced to the tempo. So if I adjust the tempo, there's a small period where it um, changes it, and then it it again stays the same. And I can choose the divider now to determine how it relates to the quarter notes that are being sent uh, from Ableton Live, my speed. So this is just a very small uh, time frame, so we only see a part of the sign now. Okay, and just to demonstrate the other waveforms, now we have the sign. We can switch to square, to sol, and to triangle. So this is pretty much it already. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. Uh, please download uh, the software and check it out for yourself. You find the links on the right in the video description. And if you like it, if you find it useful, we would be very happy for your vote on KBR Developer Challenge. Okay, thanks and bye.